Hello, everybody. This is Kate Strashny from Dedicated. I'm in New York City, the Javits Center at the Dell Tech Forum with Vinay Samuel, the CEO and founder of Zataris. Vinay. Hello, Kate. How are you? We've met. We're in person. We're here. I oh, know. Finally, in person. <laughs> so, Vinay, we're here at the Dell Tech Forum, and I wanted to start by asking, what does Zataris do, and how do you guys partner with Dell? The, you know, Zataris has two core capabilities. The first thing is the AI data hub. Uh, and, you know, the simplest way to, to tell you what that's all about is, is you, well, enterprises have data all over the place, right? They've got data in the cloud, data in the data center in different shapes, different quality. Zataris connects to it wherever it is, um, transforms it, uh, quality checks it and cleans it, and then presents it to AI or BI. And that's what we call our AI data hub. And then the other thing is Zataris is a query engine. We're a Spark runtime or a Spark-based query engine. And therefore, we have a real-time uh, open lake, lake house offering. Um, okay. And so for large organizations that want to uh, speed up their lake house development, speed up their data management, uh, basically Zataris automates uh, information management. Okay. And how do you partner with Dell? What brings you to Dell Tech Forum? Well, well we run on Dell Equipment in the data center. Okay. So we've, we've got a number of great infrastructure partners, and Dell's one of them. Um, and so for Dell, we run on uh, PowerScale and PowerEdge systems for AI use cases. Okay. So you mentioned the AI Hub and the Open Lake House. So let's start with yeah. the AI Hubs first. Yeah. My question is, how risky is it for companies who want to get the advantage of AI to start using AI without taking care of their AI Hubs first? Yeah, look, I, I think it's, for me, it's a showstopper. If, if you haven't got a way to shine the light on, on your data operations, if, if you can't quickly understand the lineage of why your AI is doing things or saying things, um, and if you haven't got a way to put guardrails in terms of governance and policy-based um, rules yeah. around the data management and then how data flows into AI, I would say don't do it. Uh, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So, Vinay, we've got the data warehouse, we have the data lake house, we've yeah. got the open lake house, we've got yeah. so many data warehouse, open lake houses, Absolutely. things going on. Yeah, yeah. How does Ataris fit into all this? So, the, that's a great question, and I've been kind of riding that trend for a long time. I actually joined the industry when it was data marts. What we're doing is we've looked at the open lake house um, capability or requirement, and by the way, open lake house, lake house is all about having a main store or your main data lake where where all of your your, your data resides and and we call it lakehouse because it, it it combines the 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 requirements of a data warehouse and a data lake and it's structured and unstructured and what open does it enables you to uh, very in, in a very uh, efficient way reach out and bring and touch other data sources. Okay. We've added the word real time to it because mm -hmm. what we can do is at query time or using our applications or using our AI for information management, you can actually address an open lake house query in such a way that if you discover that there's some other data somewhere else or in a stream, you can very quickly connect to that data and make it part of your query. Okay. And you don't have to do a whole lot of work or restart your project or, you know, ring your data teams to say, I need this other bit of data. So we call it real time open lake house and, and it basically accelerates lake house projects. Companies like Zataris are coming up with new capabilities and, you know, generative AI and your real time open lake house. Yeah. Do employees or talent, do they need to retrain? Do they need new skills in order to take advantage of these new yeah. capabilities? Yeah. Uh, well, quick answer with Zataris, no. Okay. And, and it was because of the design principles behind Zataris. Well, our, our core design criteria was we don't want to change, um, what data engineers and data scientists know to do, know how to do. We, d we don't want to come up with a new language or new capabilities. And then what we wanted to do was the hard stuff that they're trying to do, let's automate it. So okay. Zataris is a no-code environment. It's a point-and-click environment. We've we've um, stuck to the standard common languages like SQL, like Python, uh, perhaps Scala and, and other common uh, languages and code frameworks. But, but yeah, it, it's, it's by design. Okay. So I love that. You yeah. don't only have to not learn any new languages or anything. Yeah. You, you can actually use those capabilities to advance even more with SQL and Python and the skills that they might already have. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, Vinay, I want you to tell the audience if they're interested in Zataris, where yes. can they go to learn more? 
Okay. The first thing is go to our website. There's a, there's a ton of resources on there. You can get a demo. Uh, you can book a live demo or you can see videos. Um, you can also, uh, we've got a thing called Zataris Air, which is our open source version. So you can download it and, and play with it and use it. Um, we give access to our SaaS platform uh, for free at a certain level. Uh, and then finally, we also have a query per second pricing model. When, when customers buy Zataris, um, it's like a phone plan, right? Okay. Where we go, here's so many minutes for free every month. Is it free after 9 p.m.? Because I remember those days. <laughs> that, that kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> no, so, so many minutes, that's good. I'm going to use that. So, so many minutes free per month, yeah. so it's premium. And, and we have many customers who are using our product and they don't pay us until they get a really deep use case and then they start paying, right? That makes so, sense. So when you go over the, the, the minute limit, yeah, you start paying and then we cap it, just like a phone plan. Um, so go to our website. Uh, also, it's vinay.samuel, V-I-N-A-Y, dot Samuel at Zataris.com. You'll get a lot of emails. I don't mind. <laughs> go for it. You might blow up my uh, my inbox, but we've got ways of handling that as well. Um yeah. That, All right. That's it. Yeah. Awesome. Also follow Zataris on LinkedIn and other social yes, media platforms. Absolutely. Vinay, thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank it's been you. a pleasure. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much.